We come now to our prayers of intercession. The we come now to our prayers of intercession. So let us pray. Living Lord, we bring to you the needs of the world. We pray for those who consider themselves to be strangers and outcasts. We pray particularly about the long-term implications of this time of social distancing on our relationships with one another. Help us always to welcome the stranger, whatever the cost. Not sitting comfortably and ignoring people we don't think fit in. Not taking the easy way. Once this time is ended, may our homes and our churches be places of welcome. And in this time, may our greetings and smiles to one another speak of welcome. May there be hospitality and love, that all may have the chance to recognise you and see you in the warmth of those around them. We pray for those countries where food is in short supply. May we farm sustainably and eat sensibly so there is enough to feed the whole planet. When the world begins to open up again, may we be wise in our use of resources so as to continue to protect this world you have given us. May we look not only after ourselves, but seek to offer the same opportunities to all. Help us not to be selfish, but always to consider others. Lord, we long for the day when all in society will be equal. May we be a part of making that happen. We pray for those who are lonely and have no one to eat with them. May we open our doors to our neighbours so that love and friendship can flourish and all can enjoy the feast. And all this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. And we continue in prayer as we move to this time of spiritual communion. And so we come to confess our sins. Christ died for to sin once for all, and now he lives to God. So let us renew our resolve to have done with all that is evil and confess our sins in penitence and faith. Lord God, we have sinned against you. We have done evil in your sight. We are sorry and repent. Have mercy on us according to your love. Wash away our wrongdoing and cleanse us from our sin. Renew a right spirit within us and restore us to the joy of your salvation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we hear God's promise of forgiveness. May the God of love and power forgive and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his spirit, and raise you to new life in Christ 
our Lord. Amen. We pray together with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And so we come to give thanks for God's offer of forgiveness and life. We thank him for his saving death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And we ask him to be with us now. And as we pause in silence, and as we say this next prayer together, you might like to hold your hands out in front of you as if you are receiving communion. Thanks be to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits you have given me, for all the pains and insults you have borne for me. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. O merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, May I know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, day by day. Amen. Lord and Heavenly Father, we, your servants, entirely desire your fatherly goodness, mercifully to accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving and to grant that by the merits and death of your Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all your church may receive forgiveness of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. Amen. This next song might seem rather strange because it speaks of receiving communion, but it builds on what we have just prayed and reminds us of all that Christ has done for us. <laughs> 